this video, we will analyze a single survival curve with Kaplan-Meier survival curve estimation. Survival analysis data consists of a column of survival time data, as well as a column indicating whether each survival time is a time to event or a censored time. A censored time is a time that occurs when the study has ended, but no event has occurred. In this example, there is an additional frequency column to indicate that there are 18 censored individuals, rather than repeating the last time value 18 times. To perform the analysis, the Kaplan-Meier Curves procedure is open from the menu. Time is entered as the time variable. Count is entered as the frequency variable. Sensor is entered as the sensor variable. Since a 1 indicates an event and a 0 indicates a sensor, those values are entered accordingly. All the reports and plots are left as they are currently specified. The Run button is pressed to generate the analysis output. The first section gives a summary of the data. The second section gives estimates of survival at specified times. Scrolling down, the Product Limit Survival Analysis section shows the values that are used to create the Kaplan-Meier Survival Curve. The Kaplan-Meier Survival Plot is shown next. Followed by the Hazard Function Plot. and the hazard rate plot. The survival plot can be edited live by going back to the Plots tab of the Procedure window and checking the box for editing during the run. When the procedure is run, all aspects of the plot may be edited. When OK is pressed, the output will show the plot in its final form. We hope you have enjoyed this brief introduction to estimating and analyzing a single survival curve. We suggest you download and install the free trial to learn more.